What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation Wannabe. And I am out here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. No, excuse me. I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm going to tell you what guys, I almost tore up a truck at this truck stop. I got to set the scene for you. You know, we're about an hour out from the truck stop and I got to go to the bathroom bad. I mean, my contractions are coming like about every 30 seconds so I know it's on the way but I'm trying to make this truck stop so come into this truck stop and I mean I am needing to drop these logs like a lumberjack and uh, my mind was you know more on that than it was on making it around this corner in this truck stop and I almost clipped this truck and I'll keep it you know I'll keep it real with you had it not been for uh, that driver honking, I very, I may have clipped the corner of, I mean, it may have made it around, but I, I probably would have clipped that truck. So I need to look at this as a positive. You know, I'm at that point where I think a lot of people get into accidents where they start feeling a little overconfident, things like that. So uh, hopefully this was kind of a wake up call for me. Uh, some people have kind of been asking about the tempo that me and uh, my trainer have been going at. You know, we, uh, you know, within the last eight days, I think we've gone from Colorado to Kansas, down to Georgia, down to Miami. Picked up a flower load in Miami. There was a load that was not a driver unload, so that was good. That load went out to uh, Ladera, California, something like that. It's up there by Oakland, San Francisco, all that. Got a load out of there going to Denver. Dropped that in Denver. Headed out to Kansas, and uh, we're taking this down to uh, Atlanta. So that's kind of been what we've been doing uh, some people had asked you know when I plan on getting my own truck uh, for anybody that's been watching my videos I can get my own truck at this point whenever I want but for tax reasons I'm wanting to hold off till the beginning of the year if something changes you know I'm you know I can always do that you know beforehand but that's kind of my uh, goal as far as the pay goes, I'm not sure what the new prime pay policy is for uh, people or trainees that stay on their trainer's truck, but I think that uh, the amount of money that I'm making under this, uh, you know, under this plan that I'm on now is probably making about as much as I would be making as a, as a solo uh, driver so uh, money is not really the issue and one thing is doing is this allow me to you know learn a few more things that I may not have learned in you know 40,000 miles let me get accustomed to different shippers things like that and uh, and it's you know it's really breaking me in you know the running as a team is a totally different animal as uh, just running solo, you know, running as a team, the truck, you know, especially, now I hear, you know, I keep hearing people saying there ain't no loads, I mean, the way we run is really, uh, you know, really high tempo, if we have a chance to stay at a truck stop, that is a rarity right there, I mean, it's, it's not common, we usually don't stop like this, but we're a day early, normally we would already drop this load off actually we're we're two days early to, we're gonna drop it a day early <coughs> but had we not been going through my trainer's hometown we probably would have dropped this today got another load anyway I just wanted to give you that update listen if you guys are about to leave your trainer's truck learn from my mistake or my almost mistake and 
don't get that overconfidence or anything like that. Don't try to be one of these super truckers whipping these trucks around through these truck stops and doing all that stuff. Like I mentioned in a video earlier, check that damn trailer. I'm telling you, because, uh, I mean, I, that would have just been a mess. I mean, broad daylight, too. I mean, it wasn't even like it was, like, dark or anything like that. So, uh, I dodged the bullet uh, right here. Anyway, anybody keep asking. Uh, still loving Prime. I haven't put my driver code out there. I'm not trying to recruit any drivers or anything like that. But if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to email me. If I don't put the email down in the description, it's no hippie bbq at gmail.com. Uh, speaking of no hippie barbecue, listen, if you're not if you're not only about this trucking life, but you're about that barbecue life, check me out on my other YouTube channel, No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. I'll leave a link to that in the description. If I don't just type in that type in uh, that search bar no hippie barbecue got all kinds of cooking over there air frying grilling smoking sous vide flambe you know listen i do it all anyway i'd like to thank you guys for stopping by i'm gonna run in here and uh grab a shower come back out here and enjoy the this night without this truck moving i'm out